Guru Nation stand up. The tandem is back, all right? You guys didn't expect it, but we have an emergency video to put out for the people, all right? Now, look, the draft is coming up Thursday night, prime time. Prime you ready, D-Hawk? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready than ever, man. I'm ready. I'm juiced. It's a holiday. It's an NFL holiday. It should be a national holiday for football fans. Mm -hmm. But we have some beef, all right? Whoa. You people, yeah, you people that believe Deion Jordan is a top 10 pick, that he's the next Alden Smith, Demarcus Ware, Julius Peppers, etc., etc. You believe he's got all this upside, this high ceiling, this athletic ability. He's 6'6", 250, chisel, looks nice, wears Oregon jersey. But you know what? We got something. We got, we got something to say to you. Don't talk to me, all right? Knock it off! Just calm down. Just calm down. Just I know. I know. I agree. Golly, he's not man. He's not worth it. All right? Five I mean, freaking got, sacks. Five sacks, 2012. Two pass breakups? All time. His whole career, right? Zero INTs. Because he covers slot receivers. He covers tight ends. Oh, Those yeah, are his he, stats. Has, he has coverage ability, right? Okay, how many games did he probably play? 13 games this year? 44 tackles. That's solid. Top 10? Oh, Ten no, tackles no, no. top for five. You're being generous. People are saying top five. Ten tackles Dude, for people loss. People are saying number two to Jacksonville. Ten tackles for loss. That's 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 really that's really cool. There's again. I mean, I'm sorry. Let's put on the tape. This is the problem I have with Deion Jordan. He doesn't look for contact. Look at it here. So far upfield, doesn't use his hands. His offensive mindset is still with him. Ten yards past the line of scrimmage, you can't make a play on the quarterback there. We got third and eleven. You rush the passer like this, almost eight yards upfield. No pressure, and a quarterback like Matt Barkley makes that throw every time. So imagine what Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck is going to do. I mean, just check it out. He's going against a tight end, a college tight end. And what do you see, D-Hawk? He has a long arms. Does he use them? Afraid of contact. Go straight to the outside. Doesn't attack the inside shoulder. Look at that pocket. Beautiful. Straight cash. Now let's talk about his instincts versus the run. It gets even oh worse. Oh my gosh, this guy doesn't even know when Stand or where to look. Same thing, back pedals. Doesn't, doesn't take want a step the forward, bro. Same consistency, doesn't want the contact. Weak in the upper body, struggles to get off blocks. Here we go, let's see what we got here. Stanford again, has contained, boom, square shoulders, fullbacks got him. Doesn't make any sense to me. This is a pro style offense, which is gonna see every week. Here we go, again. I mean, guys, a top 10 pick on a guy that can't stop the run. E Hawk, let's be honest here. He's a great athlete. Uh, you know, I, I've yet to see anyone match that. Uh, he's tremendous athletic. He's player. young, he's raw, he's got room to grow. But you're telling me that if you're an owner, you're going to spend top 10 money to pick this guy, and he's going to start right away and go against elite offensive tackles? He's a project. He's a project. He's a project. You know, He's not a game changer. When you're taking that, when you're drafting in the top five, top ten, you apparently you're, dra you're, you're drafting there for a reason. A franchise player. If he was a game changer, wouldn't his stats be different? Exactly. Exactly. That's all we have to say. The numbers don't lie. You take him 15 and lower, that's great. That's great value because he may not have to start right away. He will someday be that defensive end or that 3-4 stand-up outside linebacker, that pass rusher that you want that can drop in coverage. But if you're going to be in the top ten and you do it, you're reaching. Bringing him in, the you fan reach. base is expecting him to perform. You're, you're setting him up for failure. Exactly. The top 10 means, especially if you're a top 10 team, you're probably not a very good team. Yeah, that's why so, you're picking that. You so, know, unless you trade up from the yeah. 15, 20, I don't know. But. You've been guru all right? If you disagree, comment. If you agree, comment. We welcome it. Like it, dislike it. But we're here, we're just so, so determined to give you guys a logic. I, 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 I just, I'm tired of people disrespecting Alvin Smith. Yeah. The, the, the comparison the is there. And not just Julius him. Peppers. There's too many. You put Come on the on, tape. Man. Put on the tape and compare. Don't watch Come his on. highlights. Watch the film. And if Deion Jordan happens right? to see this video, we're pulling for you. And, we're just speaking you know, football business, all right? Nothing against the kid. The kid probably right? wants to be the best player ever. But if business. I'm a GM in the top 10, I am not going to reach for Deion Jordan. Crew Nation. Salute.